Welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at differentiation, the quotient rule. Now, the quotient rule is for when you've got a function that is something divided by something. So you might have a function on top divided by a function on the bottom. We call a function on the top u, and we call a function on the bottom v. These are some examples, so all of these are a function divided by a function where the number on the top, the function on the top is highlighted in green and the function on the bottom is highlighted in red. The one on the top is called u of x, the one on the bottom is called a v of x. Okay? So, uh, the quotient rule tells us that if you differentiate this, you will get dy over dx is v du over dx minus u dv over dx over v squared. It looks like that, and I really want you to pay attention to the order here. The order is really important. It's v du minus u dv. So there's a minus, and it really matters which way around the v du and the u dv are. The v du will be positive, the u dv will be negative. So be careful, uh, that is probably the most common mistake with the quotient rule. Now, let's see an example. So we're going to differentiate y equals x squared minus 2 over sine of x. And we've got the u is x squared minus 2, the v is sine of x. We're just taking the u and the v from the top and the bottom of the uh, quotient. We differentiate, x squared minus 2 differentiates to 2x, and sine of x differentiates to cos of x. Okay? If you don't remember uh, the rules for differentiation, uh, then I have videos on uh, simple differentiation and differentiating common functions like sine of x and cos of x. Now continue, we're going to use a quotient rule and we're going to substitute these values in uh, like this. And I've colour coded it there for you, for what I'm substituting into where. Uh, so uh, that goes like this, all those numbers go in, all those functions go in like this. Take a moment and look at where everything's going in. Okay, you're happy? Now we're going to simplify a little bit, like that. Uh, remember, uh, sine of x uh, squared can be written as sine squared of x. Okay? Cool, and that's the final answer. You should always simplify this if you can, but this one can't really simplify um, properly. Continuing, now we're going to do example 2, I'm going to do y equals tan of x, I'm going to differentiate this. Now, what you need to remember is that y equals tan of x is the same as sine of x over cos of x. This is a basic rule of trigonometry. Uh, if you don't remember this, then it will be in your textbook. Uh, okay, so, we've got the u and the v, u is sine of x, v is cos of x. Again, it's the top and the bottom of the fraction. And that's the whole point of changing tan of x into sine of x or because of x, because now we can use this quotient rule because it is a divide, it is a quotient. We differentiate. Sine of x differentiates to cos of x. Cos of x differentiates to minus sine of x. That's just a fact you need to remember from differentiation. And we're going to use the quotient rule and substitute these values in like this. We put those numbers in and we get this. Uh, cos of x times cos of x minus sine of x times minus sine of x over cos squared of x. That will simplify. The minus sine of x times minus sine of x becomes plus sine of x times sine of x, which is, of course, they are squared. We just get cos squared of x plus sine squared of x over cos squared of x. Now you might see the top of that uh, quotient and realise that it should be familiar. So you should see that cos squared of x plus sine squared of x is the same as 1. And that's a rule you should know from earlier in your course. Okay, so we can replace the top of that fraction by a 1. Like this. And 1 over cos squared of x, you should know, is the same as sec squared of x. So we have used a few trigonometric identities there to simplify. 
If you don't know your trigonometric identities, don't worry, uh, you will come across these soon in your course. Continue. And we've got the final answer, dy over dx is sex squared of x. And that means that if you differentiate tan of x, you get sex squared of x every time. Fantastic. That's uh, the end of today's examples. I've got some practice questions for you here. Uh, please pause the video and try these examples yourself. Okay? I will reveal the answers when you're ready in 3, 2, 1. Did you get it right? Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know your feedback. If you have any questions, please also ask in the comments. But if you enjoyed today's video from Advanced Maths, please remember to like and subscribe for more videos. We have more videos coming every week for all of secondary maths. Okay? Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.